Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you how to make Marceline's cat sweater using transfer paper and fabric paint. Alright, first things first, you're going to need a couple of things. A grey sweater, some paper tape, transfer paper, fabric paint, as well as a paintbrush, scissors, and some newspaper will come in handy. As well as some access to your printer and an iron. Okay, so just start off with the red sleeves. So it's pretty easy, you just tape off the sections around the part you want painted and it's also a good idea to try it on with the tape so you can get an idea of the size of the painted area. And a good way to make sure they're even is when you're doing the second arm, just bring it up parallel to the first one and just go ahead and tape it. And if you get some rough edges like on the first arm there, just go ahead and grab some scissors. It just helps to make sure that all the lines are super smooth. After you're taped up, just grab your fabric paint and a brush and go nuts. For this one, try putting your hand inside the sleeve, so you don't have to rest it on anything and get paint everywhere. Just put on about roughly three coats. If you want it to be more vibrant, keep layering them on, but three coats is roughly good enough. Okay, so after you've painted it, just leave it to dry for a little bit, then grab your iron and make sure it's on the driest setting possible. But this is where the newspaper comes in handy because otherwise it will get everywhere. The time it takes to iron in the fabric paint in the jumper will depend on what kind of material you have. And I'll leave all the times and temperatures right here. Ugh, oh, now for the most satisfying part. Yes! Those lines are so smooth, oh my god. This is why it's a good idea for you to use paper tape. Because otherwise if it was plastic it could possibly melt into the fabric. But the tape really does help make the straight lines. Ugh, they're so straight. For the cat face, I've linked the sheet of paper down below that I made in Photoshop. So you can cut it out and don't have to worry about mirroring when you're printing. Because I made it so it flips horizontally and is the same thing. But when printing it, make sure you print on the non-gridded side. And then just set your iron to the highest setting on dry mode or 180 degrees and give the jumper a quick little iron to get out of the creases. And then just iron it using strong, slow movements. And do this for about 15 to 20 seconds. Don't worry if you do it too long, because once I misread that as 15 to 20 minutes, and it still turned out okay, so don't worry. If you want a matte finish, carefully remove the thing while it's still hot in one smooth movement. And for a glossy finish, wait until it's completely cool, then remove it. Aftercare. Alright, so there's a few things you should do. One is wash the garment before use. Wait one day before washing it after. Make sure when you usually wash it, just do it inside out. Don't use bleach or super strong detergents. Don't tumble dry. Iron only on the reverse side. And if your colour fades, you can actually iron it on again by covering it with greaseproof paper and iron for a few seconds and then peel off the paper while it's still hot. But that is it, you now have yourself a fresh Marceline cat sweater and it's super easy as well. And I'll leave a link below to the PDF with all the cat faces on it as well as the raw file in case you just want to make it super big. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye! The 100 questions nobody else tagged. Not that anyone tagged me. Oh well. Number one.